this is Warmda Studio and I'm joined by Sana and Safinaz of Sana and Safinaz and we're going to talk to them a little bit about their business, how it became an, how it went from becoming an idea to a business. So Sana, you were going to tell us a little bit about I that. I am Sana, this is Safinaz. I basically I just developed from a business. We started this about 20 years ago and at that time there was no, it wasn't really, an, it was just a little idea. We started with two men in a garage and it's developed into like a major brand. Basically I think the story here is that we've developed a, a two-man business which went into employing many more people and creating, becoming a trendsetter. Basically we're a, we're a brand that's like an aspirational brand. So uh, people sort of follow us. So it's not only just clothes that we do. We do a lot of, our business is very multi-tiered and we do a lot of other things. But it just grew over 20 years. The first 10 years I think we spent on just building our infrastructure and letting it grow organically. The last 10 years has been jumping leaps and bounds. In the last two years, we've grown at 100% and 100%. Yeah, that I've yeah. seen. Yeah, so basically, yeah. I mean, that's because, because that's that's because we've added a, a category called lawn, which is, a, which is a mass market product. It's pretty much Safinaz's idea. So let her elaborate on that. It's a very well thought out process, actually. I think what a lot of people don't realize is the brand uh, of lawn with us, with the Sana Safinaz label, is actually a 14-year-old brand. It's a consistent brand that has got a lot of loyalty. Uh, over the years, we've been uh, we've worked with Firdaus, we've worked with Alkaram, we've worked with Lakhani. And what's happened is that over the 14 years, me and Sana have gained a lot of uh, experience. We've got a lot of confidence from doing a brand with someone else. Finally, two years ago, we decided that actually we are ready to launch on our own. Now, that platform actually sets an amazing, amazingly large platform because, like I said, you're dealing with a product that every single woman in Pakistan wears. So you really can't go wrong. And Lawn is, is the most viable product for them because it's the cheapest product. So why not actually give a designer name to a lawn outfit and actually give a little bit of Sana Safinas in every woman's wardrobe. So that kind of philosophy works for us because actually everyone does want to wear a designer lawn. I think, I think we have an added edge on that and I really believe that that is a 20 years of actually being a designer. So what's happening is that in our lawn we're bringing in a very strong design element which I have to say I don't think the other 40 brands have. Even today and I can say that with a little bit of confidence that Sana and I are bringing something very, very different to the lawn. And the truth is that we're bringing in a designer element. Um, it is not a lawn for you to wear uh, while you're cooking. We're trying to give you a lawn to wear for an occasion. Lawn has never been worn for an occasion, for a lunch or a dinner occasion. It's always been relegated to, 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 to the housewife. And we're trying to make the housewife glamorous. Why shouldn't she look great? Why shouldn't she wear lawn, which is 100% heat in this country? Why shouldn't she go out and look great? You know, and that's actually what Sana Safinas give. We give you a valid value added suit for under five thousand rupees. And you really can't beat that. Yeah. So that is the story of the success for the lawn business. Very quickly, what is your plan for the next five years? Are you guys planning to diversify? What are the challenges you're thinking about? I think yeah, I think basically now the next five years is all about uh, we built the brand. Now it's gonna be diversifying into different different products of of the brand, we've got an incredibly loyal following, and that itself, I mean, so basically, I mean, we can go into cosmetics, you can go into perfume, you can go into shoes, you can, you can go into a, a sort of stores. So I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot to be done. I mean, it actually requires tons of capital. So you know, we like we we've grown it one step at a time. So that's where we're going to take it. And also, it requires more than capital. I think that's something that we are less concerned about. I really feel that and infrastructure. No, and infrastructure, Safi. I think most of, the most important thing is infrastructure. Like we were just discussing, no, you but require but a full team of people. The truth is that a lot of people have money. Pakistan is there's no lack of finances in Pakistan. It's but what takes what takes a company to the next step forward is actually your vision. What where do you see yourself 20 years from now? And that's exactly what Dawsa was saying. It's not about short-term thinking. It's about long-term thinking and long-term goals. And Sana and I have always thought long-term. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? And that truly is your imagination. Your finances can come through at any time. You can find the right finance. So there's plenty of money around. But if you don't have a vision, if you don't have an idea or a game plan, you will never go anywhere forward. And it doesn't, it's not necessarily that that game plan has to be for everybody. Some people like to stay small. And that philosophy works for them. But me and Sana don't want to be that. We want to be the bigger name and the bigger brand. Just one last question. Yeah. Um, you're one of the few women that I've interviewed. Being a woman, whether you're from any 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 kind of class, any kind of background, being a woman and taking that step, going out there and wanting to make your own business and stand on your own two feet, it's tough. What advice would you have for young women? I think it's, it's been it's a changing world. I think 20 years ago we faced all the challenges of being women entrepreneurs. I think today you'd have. I think I think we become sort of like. A, brand ambassadors for women entrepreneurs because that's what it is. There's two young girls, highly uneducated, <laughs> come out and 
come out and just sort of hit a sixer. I mean, that's that sort of it inspires lots of young girls that listen. You don't have to be an MBA. You know, you have to have passion and you have to have a dream and you have to have a vision about something like Safi Sanjay. Great. Thank you so much thank and you, good, you. Luck. good luck. Good luck.